Hey guys, what's up? Uh, doing another video today. This time we got Bam Geek in uh, this month. Um, this month was Smurfs, Jumanji, Mandalorian, and I don't remember the last one, but uh, let's see what's inside. Um, they did announce that the auto is the Mandalorian. So I'm thinking somebody small, David Accord, I believe did the uh, editing on the voice. So maybe him for Grogu, uh, maybe a suit actor. Like the frog lady. Um, can't think of anybody else. But I'm not expecting big is what I'm saying. So, but that's okay because it's Mandalorian. That's the reason I bought the box. I knew it wouldn't be somebody, I know it won't be somebody huge. So, but for a $30 price point, I'm sure it's somebody that's worth it. Start off with the scratcher. Bam Ultra. Free Bam Box. An art print upgrade. This is literally the same exact scratcher that I got in my last box uh, that I uploaded. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna upload first, but it's it's the same box. I mean, same um, scratcher. Uh, prop replica. Feels like a little rubber eraser. Molded lines are right there. Ah, uh, it's a Jumanji token. Uh, I can tell because it's a ri the rhino. That's all right. Um, next, we got our pin. Boom. That's Papa Smurf with some mushrooms behind him. Not a big Smurf fan, but that's kind of a cool pin. I won't lie. Um, art card. This art card is an authentic BAM fan art featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists, at Artist Alley Artists. This card is part of the Villains series and it is Sean Langley, 1743 out of 2500. So uh, let's see, we got Two-Face here. Um, looks like it's uh, more going off of um, Tommy Lee Jones. Um, just saying, we need more Billy D. Williams uh, Two Face artwork. I mean, I know we never got him as Two Face, but he was Harvey Dent in uh, Tim Burton's films, and he got paid off for not being in the Joel Schumacher one. So let's see some uh, uh, Billy D. Williams as Harvey Dent. Next, we got the artwork. 1508 out of 2200 from Mark Melton, it looks like. Uh, that's some G.I. Joe guy, I think. Yeah, he's got the Cobra uh, logo on his briefcase. Um, Joe is a little past my time, so I didn't really get into G.I. Joe. Um, next is our Mandalorian autograph. So, uh, let's see, boom. I know the droid is called Zero and he was the one that uh, tried to take baby uh, Grogu and he also tried to, um, he was also used for the frog lady to talk to him. 
Let's see what this guy's real name is. Chris Bartlett. Actor, best known for The Mandalorian. That guy. Uh, like I said, suit actor, droid actor. Um, not bad. Definitely worth the $30, in my opinion. What, Whatever it is now, 30 I think. Z34168. Z34168. I like this. Um, it's definitely... It's a Mandalorian auto, which is exactly what was described. And it's not like it's uh, some background character. It was a character who was a part of a group that got a whole episode based on them. So that's cool to me. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 311, signed by Tom Holland, is a giveaway that they're doing. That's really cool. That'd be really cool to get. Um, quick go over these, uh, celebrity autograph, this is the way adding to your Star Wars collection this month, we are thrilled to be able to get Chris Bartlett, who plays several droids in the hit series, The Mandalorian, his roles include Zero, Q90, Droid, the RA7 Droid, the Teacher Droid, and others. Being a huge Star Wars fans ourselves, we jumped at the chance to be able to put Petra's Star Wars autograph in the box, and we hope this starts or adds to your collection. Which I didn't have Chris Bartlett, so that's cool. It's a Star Wars auto. Uh, let me read the March 2021 first because I forgot. We're so excited to feature the Mandalorian this month's Geek Box and an autograph, no less. As awesome as that is, we forget about these that we can't for we don't forget about these other franchises to bring back your childhood we hope you love your box uh gi joe professional artist mark melton created two gi joe prints featuring sneaky snake eyes and destro while they are fantastic pieces of arts on their own you can collect both of them to create a full scene of destro and snake eyes in an epic battle Okay. Uh, prop item. Nineties kids will remember the terror and excitement that the game of Jumanji summoned. With that in mind, we replicated the four game pieces and used the used in the original movie. Collect the whole set of the monkey, the elephant, the rhino, and the crocodile. Crocodile would have been really cool. I would have liked that one a lot. Uh, artist luck card. We're continuing our year of villains with all of our favorite franchises. This month, we present Two Face from Batman, brought to you by artist Sean Langley. Look for the limited hollow version and the pin. Saturday mornings were never complete growing up without watching the feel good adventures of the Smurfs. Well, we enjoyed the movies. We wanted to feature the 80s cartoon with the pin set designed by artist Tom Ryan. Most will receive Papa Smurf, but there will be also Gargamel out of 250 and Smurfette out of 99, or a black and white Smurfette out of 50. Those are the one ups you can see underneath. There's Gargamel, Smurfette, black and white Smurfette, Snake Eyes, and a Hollow Two Face. Uh, overall, pretty good box. I mean, it's not the best, it's not the worst, far from the worst. Um, you got your Mando autograph, and like I said, it's Star Wars. You can't expect to get Gina Carano or I forgot who plays Mandalorian. It's the same guy that's in Game of Thrones. I can't remember his name though. Um, or like you can't really expect Carl Weathers. That's that'd be ridiculous. But a droid actor, um, decent autograph, decent uh, to add more um, girth to the Mandalorian autographs. Um, overall, I'm very happy with this box. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.